क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लुक इनटू रूरल मार्केटिंग फीचर्स व्हाट इज रूरल मार्केटिंग मार्केटिंग डन बाय मार्केटर्स इन रूरल एरियाज दैट इज सेलिंग अ प्रोडक्ट यूजिंग ऑल द फोर पीस इन द रूरल मार्केट इज कॉल्ड एज रूरल मार्केटिंग सो गाइस let us look into the features first feature is scattered nature of rural market you know guys even today 70% of indian population is rural areas but this 70% is highly scattered for example if we are traveling through a train we may see certain parts which are not that developed and even there people stay in huts they work on farms and so on these parts are also considered as rural areas basically rural areas are those where the population is very less and the main occupation of people is farming nowadays we find that rural people are also engaged in many other occupations related to farm like animal husbandry dairy products uh, making handmade uh, articles and uh, there is a very big uh, cooperative society that is amul milk and so on which is also the main occupation of rural areas nowadays but the major feature of rural market is that that it is highly scattered by scattered i mean that it is different like you know scattered in the sense ki ek jagah pe bahut chhota market hai fir bahut zyada distance pe dusra market hai rural market so if the marketer wants to enter the rural market he has to understand this feature very well because even if he is doing mass marketing due to scattered market he may able to sell only few products in one particular market next feature is size of rural market yes it is three times bigger than the urban market because 70% of the population in india even today lives in rural market so 70% of the indian population is rural now you can imagine that the size of rural market is so huge till the last decade that is before 10 years rural markets were not tapped by the marketers this is because they felt that the rural market is scattered and people there are illiterate but nowadays marketers since last 10 years there is a drastic change in the marketing strategies marketers have realized that the untapped potential of rural market is high and if they can tap that market it would be really great because the size of market is 3 times more than the urban market only 30% urban people and 70% rural people imagine the size of the demand if the marketer markets his product well he may rock into the rural market next feature is consumer behavior in rural market consumers in rural market are quite different from their urban counterparts how first they are not so literate second they still believe in traditions example even today in many rural market people use twigs to clean their teeth and the powder in this way miswa has launched a powder which can be used by people and it is doing very well in the rural market so these people are tradition bound one more consumer buying behavior or one more point about specific about the consumer is they are highly price conscious that is they want value for money if they are paying 2 rupees they will see ke 2 rupees mein bhi jo product mil raha hai wo vasool hai ki nahi for example parle ji they feel parle ji is excellent and it really gives them a value for money so they are highly price conscious and demand value for money one more thing which we can see is they buy in small quantities that's why many companies or rather all companies are nowadays launching products in small sachets even eatables they will buy in very small quantity they believe in earning on day to see because their earnings is day to day basis like many of them are wage laborers 
who get day to day basis payment so this their spending is also day to day so every day they may make a purchase but they will make a small purchase next point is high growth for certain products certain products like shampoos sauce and uh, you know biscuits noodles all these are doing very well in the rural market and the consumption of these products is increasing day by day so there is a heavy growth rate for certain products fmcg products especially next feature is mode of payment rural people as i told you are wage laborers they get payment on daily basis in cash so the payment is also cash they don't use much debit card credit card online payments or paytm also one more feature is this people like to buy durable products like tv and such tv fridge ac on installment basis also they want installment interest free so many marketers have succeeded in the market when they are selling these products on installment basis next feature is awareness nowadays rural areas are exposed to many medias like television radio and even internet mobile and so on that's why the awareness for products is increasing they are becoming all the more aware about the different varieties available in the market about the different brands about the different price and so on also their income is increasing due to increase in agricultural exports and agricultural activities so rural people are demanding more products and are becoming more aware about the quality price promotion channels of distribution they now know how to place the product even on internet shocking but true next point is rural income now rural income is majorly from agricultural and allied activities one more thing one more observation is many of the rural youngsters and young adults are now moving on to urban areas in order to find job they are also transmitting their urban income to the rural people this is also a major source for rural people one more thing is observed that rural people are richer than urban people very shocking guys but true rural people have saved their money in those urban pots they have dig pits you know in the ground and put their money in that pits and their savings is too high only thing is their savings is not channelized like we do savings in banks and fds and all they don't channelize their savings rather they believe in saving in cash so rural income is also increasing day by day one more thing is because of the literacy level spreading throughout india rural people are becoming more literate more literate people are creating more job opportunities are starting new entrepreneurs there are new entrepreneurs in the rural areas so the rural income is increasing and therefore they have high disposable income they have money to spend for their products so marketers if market their products properly or rather i would say many marketers have been very successful because rural people have a good income and they have good purchasing power next is opinion leaders yes my dear friends opinion now you know rural people are highly influential if somebody influences them it is very easy for them to make a decision so panchayats and teachers and doctors and people from urban areas are a source of influence for them specifically panchayat leaders the leader of the uh, farm or say the landlord all these people are very influential in decision making power and purchasing uh, the process for the rural people so if the marketer is able to convince this opinion leaders let me give you an example if in the school children are taught by their teachers about the teeth hygiene and children go home in the rural areas and tell their mother that teacher ne bola hai ki colgate se brush karna hai for the teeth hygiene definitely rural mothers will buy colgate because they are highly influenced by teachers panchayat leaders sarpanch and so on next feature is change in lifestyle yes now we can find a change in lifestyle 
of the rural people. As I told you, they were tradition bound and they used to use twigs to clean their teeth. But now they are also using Colgate, Prepsodan and many other toothpaste to clean their teeth. Not only that, they are also using mouthwash, mouth fresheners and many products are sold in rural areas. Not only that, even food items like ready to eat food packets are also sold in rural areas. Moreover, not only one brand is used in the family, it's a latest observation that if there are five people in the family, all five may use different brands of shampoo. So they have, the rural lifestyle has undergone a major change in the last decade and therefore it's a great opportunity for marketers to serve the rural areas. Last point is literacy level. As I told you with many government programs and with the efforts of the government, many schools have been started in rural areas. People are now getting educated. There is a famous this thing, Ladki Bachao, Ladki Padao, India, India Badao and so on which is very popular slogan in rural areas. So now even girls and women are getting educated in the rural areas. So decision making power is also increasing with the literacy level increase. Therefore, marketers have a wide and a huge scope in the rural markets. I hope you understood the features of rural marketing. Guys, if you like it, please subscribe Ikira and stay in tune. Thank you.